took three times for me to get this shoe. Almost my whole entire life. But I'm so happy that I finally got them. Welcome Cool Cats and Doggies to another episode of Figgin' Sneaks. Today we'll be going over the Nike Air Jordan 13 playoffs. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe and turn that notification bell to catch all the content we have on this channel. At the end of the video, make sure you leave a comment below if you bang with it. Top 313 colorway of all time? I think so. And make sure to check me out on all social media platforms like Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, TikTok, I'm out here. But let's hop into the review of this nice clean shoe. Eeny. Now, I want to give a shout out to Eastside Trophy, someone who just finally subbed on the channel. He said he messed with the energy, so today I had to come correct. I, I know sometimes on here, I guess I'd be like, all laid back and stuff, but today I'm really with the ish. That's the shits. Fuck it. Fuck it. Size 13, Big Feet Gang salute. Black, true red, white is the colorway. It goes, he got games. Playoff 13s. And altitudes? Is that, is that your favorite top three 13 colorways? Is it mine? We'll, we'll figure it out later on. Once you open up this box, receipt from Dick Sporting Goods. Shout out to Dick Sporting Goods. Price was 210 retail, came up to 222.59. Jordans cost way too much nowadays. And there you go. Mm -hmm. So clean and iconic and they're being kept. And they're being kept. We're not giving these away. These will be here for years to come. As you can see right here, this is the Air Jordan 13 playoffs. First came out in 1998, 25th anniversary. They're nicknamed the playoffs because Jordan wore them that year a lot. But they came out during All-Star Week. And what do you know? These came out February 18th, All-Star Weekend. So, like, look at that. That's kind of like cherry on top type-ish, even though I absolutely hate cherries. Do not bring cherries around me, unless it's in candy, like Starburst. Actually, I'm gonna grab another candy, one second. I grab a candy as a prop because it goes well with the shoe. Uh, you can't see it yet. Let's talk about some of the materials on this shoe. If you start off at the top of your shoe, you agree with this tumble leather. As you head towards the middle of your shoe, you agree with some suede underneath. I don't wanna call this overlays, but I guess it still is. The overlays are tumble leather and the underlays are suede. And that essentially covers all the colors of your upper. Back here near your lateral heel, you have your cat eye. And it's always holographic. And it's a jump man in there. And it's 23 and it's green. And I absolutely love it. <laughs> Throw a little color in there, just a little splat. A little splat. You get that all yellow circle in there, like the ring, like that movie, kind of scary, with an all red Jumpman in the middle on your tongue. You get a red Jumpman on your insole inside your shoe. You get Jordan in the yellow at the bottom of your tongue where your Dubray typically would be, and this is in the same font that you usually get on your Air Jordan 14s as well. More black finishing off your midsection. If you even want to count that in, as a midsection, it's kind of like just there, kind of, not the about. And finishing off your shoe, which is something I actually can't stand, but I guess I gotta bear with it. It's an all white outsole with some trimming of red and another panther eye on the bottom right there. That time just jump in, no 23 there, but this is one of the best outsoles I've ever seen in my whole entire life. And you also get a carbon shank plate right there like you do on your Air Jordan 11s. <laughs> I do not like that it's white hair. I do not like that Sam I am. I'm gonna dirty the f out of that. But I absolutely love this shoe and I'm happy that I'm finally able to cop it. If I didn't let y'all know, the silver box is the box that you get for all 13s. I kind of don't keep them around me a lot because they would reflect a lot on the lighting. So they're usually on the bottom left over there. But I have like, do I have 13 pair of 13s? No, I don't have that much. I have like seven or eight. And one of the bigger features about this shoe is the fact that the leather here on your upper is dotted. Some people call it pimpled or something like that. I don't wanna see, that's kinda nasty. I call it dotted. And because it's dotted leather, I'm gonna eat me some dots real quick. I don't think there's no cherry joints left in this jar. 
But let's hop into according to my calculations, get down to the nitty gritty. Man, this thing got tough. Like I said, this shoe came out February 18th at a price point of 210 bucks. New age Jordans are ridiculous. But if any shoe's gonna be 210, at least an OG pair that's fitting and reminds me of the OG pair, the 98 pair, at least that's gonna be 210. I, I still got the dots in my mouth. This is gonna be rough now. They did come out with these shoes again in 2011, but the specs on this shoe is closer to the pair, the OG pair from 98, which I clearly want. I don't want the whacker pair from 2011. 210 bucks, but it came out in all kid sizes or all family sizes. So if you wanted it for you or your younger nephew or your kid or your cousin's nephew, sister's uncle, you could have caught for them as well. Tiff's not a big fan of uh, 13, so we didn't go out there for her. So just for me, but it's for me, for me, for me. Right now you can catch this on the secondhand market for roughly 20 to 30 bucks more. So the size 13 is going for like 225. Like I said, after taxes, I paid 222. So obviously if you buy that on the secondhand market for 225, after taxes, you might be paying like 260, but like $50 more for a shoe. I'm still with it. I'm still with the shits. I'm still with the, I don't know if I should be cussing or not. Maybe she has to, I'm still with the it's. Let's go with the it's right now. That's kind of hit. I would definitely go get it for 50 more bucks. Do it. Like, what are you doing? But I'm sure in the next couple of days, you'll see a bunch of stuff. If you follow any what, sneaker related info on Twitter, I'm telling you that they still have them for retail, go cop. They are to the size, and I think 13s are one of the most iconic Jordans ever. It's one of my favorite silhouettes. I guess it might be pushing right outside top three after like four. 6 and 12, it might be 13 next. I don't ever talk about 1s and 11s because that's everyone's favorite. 13s are probably pushing top 5 silhouettes of all time for me, so. And I never had this colorway, so. I'm with it. I'm, I'm truly with it. That's making me talk more. Overall, what am I giving out a 10? It's a 10. I mean, it's a 10. Shout out to Dick's Sporting Goods. They let me come the week before, get a first come for a serve band, then I pulled up this Saturday and I copped. And then they just been sitting here and I <laughs> kind of just was like looking at them. Um, I've been copping a lot of shoes in 2023. Like right now you can't see it, but it's like 15 pair of shoes here I got to review. Like in front of the wall, they're like sitting here, right? I had to review this one before these, even though I got these before these. Because before these, for these, for these, because these joints are like iconic. He got games, which are white, red, and black. V's and probably altitudes to me, probably altitudes. Maybe flints. Man, that's tough. Altitudes are black and green, very close green, so I might go with that. But flints are like, I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments below, what's your favorite 13s? So give me top three. Top five is easy. Give me your top three. One has to get cut off, either flints or altitudes. And then also let me know if you cop these. Damn, did I just spit the dot out? Or would you cop these if you didn't cop these? Because you should go cop these and then eat some dots. <laughs> A cherry one, hey, cherry on top. It's kind of nasty, I'm sorry, y'all. But until the next video, I'm gonna holla at y'all. That was kind of nasty. Bye-bye. I really hate cherries, like on anything. But cherry flavored candy, kind of crack. Crack. Bye-bye. Especially Starburst, or Airheads, or Dots, or, or Jolly Ranchers. Cherry candy's good. Cherry, the fruit, it's trash. These are amazing. Wow.